this has a hollow, hollow inside. You can see it's got hollow walls that it's continuous through here. However, the inside chamber in no way can get to the outside. Just like this is all hollow, but you can't get from the outside to the inside. These map from one onto another, and of course, that nicely maps onto the hole in a hole in a hole. What we started with, you, you couldn't get, although this has three holes in it, air can't get from the outside to the very inside of the sphere. Likewise, air or coffee can't get from the outside to the inside of this glass. They're, they're in a sense, sealed. These have topological volume. They divide the universe into an outside and an inside. Unlike, I might add, a Klein bottle. Changing the subject, a Klein bottle fails to divide the universe into an outer part and an inner part because air from the unit from air can go all the way to the inside. If that's not true for this guy, there's the, whatever air is inside of there is trapped in there forever. It has a volume. Topologically, a Klein bottle has no volume. A Klein bottle clearly can't be the solution to Spivak's problem. And one step further, this handle body, this sphere with three handles, is different from a Klein bottle in that it's orientable. If I take and put a symbol on here, no matter how I rotate it around, I can come back to the same point and it's the same symbol. On a Klein bottle, the symbol, once brought all the way around to the inside, will reverse itself. A Klein bottle is non orientable. Of course, we're talking about solving this hole in a hole in a hole. It solves as being homeomorphic to, it can be twisted into a three-hole torus. I searched and I found a three-hole torus. And this morning, just before Brady came here, I sewed it onto my shirt. These are not your commonplace four-hole buttons that have four holes in them. A three-hole button, I'm told, is hard to machine attach. Machines can't sew them as easily as a four-hole button. So, well, I had to sew it by hand. I'll bet you other people sew them by hand, too. So, a hole in a hole in a hole, this is homeomorphic to the button on my shirt. Throughout this, I've used the word homeomorphic, which means, oh, I can move it around and change it around. This set, uh, is it possible to show all of this? Can you show? Yeah, I can see uh, all that. Yeah, there it is. This set of manifolds is even stronger than homeomorphic. There's something called isomorphic. The changes that have happened from one to the next to the next have not required moving things through one another. Not only do each of these have the same property, they can be moved from one shape to the next to the next without disassembling them. All of these are smooth constructions, which to a topologist means they are isomorphic to one another in addition to the slightly weaker property called homeomorphic. Homeomorphic means they have the same mathematical properties, but you can't get from one to the next. Isomorphic means they have the same mathematical properties, and you can get easily from the one to the next. For example, a Mobius loop that has a half twist is homeomorphic to a Mobius loop that has one, two, three half twists. They're homeomorphic to each other but they're not isomorphic because you kind of have to cut it, reassemble it. These, however, are both homeomorphic and isomorphic to one another. Come on over, check this out. Under my house is a, is my little forklift robot. 
to go pick Klein bottles from stock. Tilt the thing. Um, if you look carefully at it, let's see if I can actually 